So now guys, I'm actually going to talk about the education, indoctrination, should I say, indoctrination. So, and I'm going to talk about a bit about my, um, my, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Fucking hell, my mind goes blank when I'm on the spot sometimes. Um, fuck's sake, I can't even think of the word. Uh, my experience. <clears throat> experience. So, of course, when you go to school, you go to school, you're not told how to think, you're told what to think. And no matter, you know, what you try to think, it's forbidden. It's forbidden. You know, because if you think of the craziest stuff and the most wild there is and all that, and you want to, like, look into things that you don't know, well, you can't, because you're not told how to think, you're told what to think, you're told what's in the textbook, you're told what's uh, in this book, what's in that book, you're taught what these scientists found out, what uh, history is, you're told, and you, you're told it, and you're told to read all these books that, that mean absolutely nothing, to you and you just read them and then you to you got to uh, analyze them remember them and uh, you know and then what do they do after that they test you they test you to see what you know and what you've learned in those books that probably a lot of the books are lies of course and then you move on to the next stage of school which could be so you go from infant school to junior school then to high school and each as you move up, if you yeah, the way in the UK we call them years. So in year one, year two, year three, etc. I know in the United States you call them grades, don't you? Grade one, grade two, grade three, grade four, and every school you go. So once you know, for example, in the UK you start off at infant school, about five, I think, and then you are tested at the end of infant school when you leave about. How old are you in year two? You're about seven, eight. And then you're tested at the end of that school. And once you leave that school, because you're, you're the big people at that school. But once you leave that school, you go to high school. You go to, uh, sorry, junior school, which is the next school up. You become, uh, you feel smaller again because you're new to that school. And obviously all the other kids are older. And uh, you get your, you, they level up your indoctrination. They teach you more indoctrination, and then they test you right at the end again, don't they? Your indoctrination to make sure you're learning the propaganda. And the more indoctrination you have, the more brainwashed you are. So I see that think the more educated you are in this system, the more brainwashed you are, and that's how it is. And then you move to high school again, and you learn more indoctrination, more lies and, and deception. And of course, you tested at the end of that to test your knowledge on what history is. You know, you're told that history is this, history is that. Even though history, let's break it down, shall we? History, his story. You know, it's not my story, not your story. It's his story. And how do we not know his story is true? His story might not be true. You know, but because it's not my story, it's his story, and that's what history is. Why did they call it history? Why not call it his fact? Why history? His fact would be a better name rather than fucking history because it's telling they're telling you what it is. It's a story. It's his story, isn't it? Or their story, not our story. And of course, it's been passed down like Chinese whispers. We don't know what's true anymore. But we're told it's fact, of course. We're told to accept the fact. We're told not to think about the fact and challenge it. We're told to accept it. You know, we're told what to think, not how to think. And we should be able to talk how to think so we can think in 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 different many different ways there should be no limit on what you can think and all the possibilities out there you know we, have we seen everything have we seen it with our own eyes what we taught at school no have we have we have we seen um what have we seen the spacemen going to space no have we seen them set up uh, go around and sit and land on the moon do we know it's true no we don't know it's true because we haven't seen it with our own eyes we've seen it on tv but of course we know tv is a massive deception you know, they could have set it up in a studio or anything. Who knows? Do we know? No. And it, what's best? What how I how people need people need to understand this. When I come up with the craziest theories and people laugh at me, 
Yeah, I need you to understand this. I don't believe them. I'm just saying them as possibilities because that's what they are, possibilities. It's like me saying there's a possibility that um, billions of people could be in the satanic cult without telling anyone. You know, how would you know? How would you know if they swear oath not to tell anyone? You wouldn't. It might be a load of bollocks. It might be true. Who knows? It's good to have that possibility, though, isn't it? You know, you can have theories and possibilities. It doesn't mean you believe them. It's good to have an open mind and put ideas in the table. And then you can decide what you do with our ideas. We're all on different paths. We don't have to be on the same path. You know, we're all on different journeys. And that's how it should be. But they want us on, on the same path, don't they? They want us on a career path. You know, don't take the spiritual path. Don't take the natural path. No, take the career path. You know, and like Shill said the other day, it's car crash, isn't it? You're just, it's just, it's, you, you're setting you up to fail really, when you think about it. There's only a limit on how far you can go. The world is a corrupt, deceitful place. And the only truthful, um, the truthful uh, uh, people are the ones that are true to themselves and find their own route without having to listen to every other bugger. Because we don't know what's true and what's false. We don't know what this world is. We don't even know what we're on. We don't know how we got here. We know nothing. It's been hidden from us. This very, it's a very deceitful world and people need to understand that. Cheers, guys.